If you're in the market for a new car, you may get more mileage for your money by buying used. Consumer Reports released its first ever ranking for used cars between 5 and 10 years old. Lexus and Toyota topped the list, followed by Mazda, Acura, and Honda. This comes as new car prices continue to rise. According to Cox Automotive, as of this month, the average cost of a new car is over $48,000. This morning, we are joined by Alex Nizik, a car buying expert at Consumer Reports to talk more about about why used might be the better option. Good morning to you. Uh, hi, how are you? So cost considered, is it better to buy <laughs> new or used today? Yeah, they each have their advantages. You know, buying a new car, I think the most important thing is you're more likely to get the latest and greatest safety and crash protection. You also get the latest features and a fresh warranty. But when you buy used, you're you're not having to pay for that initial depreciation hit that comes along with buying a new car. So you're really focused on value. But that being said, if you're buying used, you really shouldn't have to sacrifice safety and reliability. And so that was really why it's the right time for CR to expand its ratings and recommendations to used cars as well. You can find all this information on consumerreports.org slash used cars. What is the first thing you should think about when buying a used car, at least going to take a look at some of them? Sure, yeah, reliability is really one of, if not the most important thing. We routinely see that time and time again when we survey Americans who are in the market for a vehicle. And so when we consider reliability, we survey our members every single year, uh, looking at problems that they had with their car, everything from major engine transmission problems to minor squeaks and rattles. And when looking at this five to 10 year old uh, used vehicles, we had 150,000 different data points, brought that all together to find out uh, for the first time, the most reliable used cars brands. And as you mentioned, Toyota, Lexus, uh, Mazda at the top, these brands tend to be more conservative. And when they redesign their cars, uh, they really iterate on them, which makes them, you know, tend to have fewer problems. And we really see improved reliability over time. Okay, so let's go further into those top models. Which do you suggest people should look for first? Sure. Yeah. So we, again, came out with the first ever top 10 list of used cars. And all of the cars on here, they have to have done really well in our tests when we purchased and tested them new. Uh, they have to, again, have that above average reliability over time, super important. And safety, safety is key. They all have standard electronic stability control and they all represent a really good value. They tend to depreciate a little bit more than their direct competitors. And some great examples, 2017 Chevrolet Cruze, coming in at our under $10,000 category, uh, the 2020 Mazda CX-9, 2020 Buick Envision, all of these cars, you know, model years like 2020, 2017, they're actually pretty new. So you can save a lot of money and still get a relatively new used car that'll be safe and reliable. And that price sounds a whole lot better than the 48000 for the new <laughs> car. Sure does, yeah, After you find your so-called dream car, how yeah. do you get a great deal on it? I mean, what do you suggest? Yeah, so once you kind of narrow down that make and model that you want, a um, couple things. Try expanding the search radius. Like if you're looking online, try to not just look in the immediate area, maybe go to a couple towns over or expand that radius that you're looking in to see if you can maybe get a better deal that way. Um, also, maybe choosing something that isn't the most popular model, right? We know that SUVs are, are really, really hot right now and trucks and things like this. If you can choose a model that's maybe less popular, you might get a better deal. Uh, and lastly, consider a CPO or a certified pre-owned car. This is a car that you're going to get from a dealer. It's going to be inspected by the mechanics at the dealership, come with a warranty. And, you know, we see through Consumer Reports surveys that people who do choose a CPO vehicle, even though they're about 2% more than a non-CPO version of that same car, they tend to be uh, more reliable owners reporting fewer problems, and they're also more satisfied with these vehicles. So, you know, you're trying to save money. You don't want to go buy another used car. So if you can buy one that you're going to be happy with and it's going to last you a while, you can save money that way too. Yeah, good advice. Alex Nizek, thank you so much. Car buying thank expert at me. Consumer Reports. Thanks for joining us.